What's up, sports bettors? I know, I already gave out a three-leg parlay for tonight, but guess what? I have five more picks on Underdog Fantasy, and I also locked in an early NFL bet, um, which you can see right here for Sunday. I took the Chiefs under 28 half on the team total, so I bet this at plus 110 odds, which was a 5.13% profit margin, so I hit it for a grand. So 5.13% profit margin, you bet it for $1,000. My bet has 51.30 in profit margin. And I mean, the value on this play is just ridiculous, right? Every sports book has the under favored, except for win bet. Well, I guess bet online, they're giving you the same odds on the over and the under, but you can see Pinnacle, which is the sharpest sports book in the world, they have the Chiefs team total, the under favored. So as sportsbooks started to release odds for Sunday, there were some big discrepancies. And you can see here, no other sportsbooks giving us better than minus 112 on the Chiefs under 28 half team total. We got it plus 110. So this was a sharp pick that was picked up by the Odds Jam Positive EV tool, right? So this tool is pretty simple. Again, if you're new to if you're new to Odds Jam, all this tool does really is let's just go here is it takes all this data, right? Sports betting odds from every major sports book, fantasy sites like Prize Picks, Underdog Fantasy, is all Odds Jam does is it takes all this data and then the EV tool specifically scans for where are their big discrepancies in the odds? Where are their good value spots as a sharp better? So right, Chiefs under 28 half, being able to get that at plus 110 when all the bookmakers are pricing it at minus 115, minus 112, seems pretty good, right? And you can quantify that profit margin mathematically. So anyways, let's get into my five parlay picks for tonight. So let's start out by looking right here. We have a hockey player prop um, on underdog fantasy. So Matt du Duchesne, under two and a half shots on goal. I have no idea who this guy is, but what I do know for a fact is all of the sports books have the under heavily favored, right? So the EV tool picked this up on underdog fantasy, which you can see right here, I have them selected. And again, just crazy value on this play. All of the bookmakers have the under heavily favored. You're getting implied odds of minus 122 on underdog fantasy in a five pick entry. And if you're confused where that number comes from, what you can do is you can go here. So this is just the odds jam screen because there was actually a pretty interesting um, discrepancy in Aaron Rodgers' passing yards line, which we can take a look at very briefly if I can find Rodgers. So you can see here, like prize picks and underdog have Rodgers' passing yards line at 244 half. So if we zoom in, if you're looking for a play on prize picks, being able to get Rodgers over 244 half seems pretty good, right? All of the sports books are opening Rodgers' passing yards line at 261 half or 254 half. So a lot of discrepancies um, early in, let's just take a look. So I found this on the middle betting tool, which you can see right here. So here we have Rodgers. Right, underdog has his line at 249 half, pinnacle had it at 221 half. So obviously though, if you want to play this, if you have Thrive Fantasy or Prize Picks, you're getting more value. But I mean, pretty big discrepancies here, right? Sportsbooks have Rogers' passing yards line at 261 half, juice towards the over. Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, they have over 261 half favored, right? They have the over juiced. You can get over 244 half on prize picks at minus 119 in a five pick flex. So using all this market information data, it's pretty clear that, you know, this play on Aaron Rodgers, if you're able to get the over on prize picks is great value, you know, 17 yards away from where the sports books are setting their lines. So anyways, let's keep going. First play I have is Matt Duchesne under two and a half shots on goal. Right, what's so fascinating about um, these platforms, so if we see right here, underdog fantasy, we can go through the math very briefly, but you're gonna notice we're always playing three pick or five pick entries on underdog, right? So three picks is to six X your money. So here we bet 500 to win 3000. And then in a 20 or in a five pick entry, you're betting $1 to win 20. 
So here, if I select three picks, you can see we're betting one to win six. So that's the implied odds of minus 122. So if I go here, if I go to a parlay calculator, any three picks on underdog fantasy, you're betting one to win six, right? You're betting one to win six. So the implied juice for a three pick entry is minus 122, right? So another way you can think about this is any three leg -like parlay on underdog fantasy that you create, right? It doesn't matter if you switch around the picks, you're gonna be betting one to win six, any three leg -like parlay. So essentially underdog fantasy is saying, hey, we're just gonna juice anything in a three pick entry to minus 122. So when you're betting on underdog in a three pick or a five pick entry, you should assume you're getting minus 122. So you can see for a five pick entry, we're betting $1 on underdog to win roughly 20, right? To 20X our money, $1 to win 20. So once again, that's minus 122 implied juice. But what you'll notice is for any two pick entry, you're betting one to win $3. So one to win $3 means the implied juice is minus 137. $1 you're betting to win $3, which is why you'll notice for underdog fantasy, it's different than a sports book because they have different odds depending on how many picks are in your parlay. A two pick parlay, you're getting minus 137 implied odds. A five pick parlay, you're getting minus 122 implied odds. It's the same thing on prize picks, right? Prize picks, you're betting one to win three for any two leg -like parlay, which is minus 137 again implied odds. For a five pick flex play, you're getting minus 119 implied odds. So long story short, when we're betting on underdog, you'll notice I'm basically always playing three pick or five pick entries. Occasionally, if I do some little like test play, whatever, but you can see three pick, five pick, five pick, three pick, right? So all we need to do on underdog fantasy is find either three or five picks that look great at minus 122 odds. So this first player prop, Looks incredible value at minus 122. Bet online, very sharp offshore sportsbook has this minus 164. DraftKings, minus 155. Pinnacle, minus 144. So all of the sportsbooks, we're treating them as data points of, hey, tell us where the line should be set. And all of the sportsbooks are saying, hey, the under should be super juiced. And we're getting it minus 122 implied odds in a three pick or a five pick entry. So the next play I went with is right here, OJ Howard, under one and a half receptions. So once again, I ended up playing this on underdog fantasy. So here you can see Caesars and FanDuel also have the under heavily juiced. So basically you have one, two, three, like all the sports books, you treat them as data points, telling you where the line should be set. And then you look for value as a sharp better. That's your job as a sharp sports better. You hunt for value. You're not trying to get rich quick. You're trying to find value. And on underdog fantasy, you're trying to find value always at minus 122. So we just ruthlessly compare the lines on sports books to those on underdog fantasy, and we find value. So next we have player reception. So this is Thursday night football. And again, it's free to browse odds on odds jam. Any game you wanna look at, you know, any market, you know, player props, player passing yards. So what I like to do is just scan, you know, prize picks in underdog fantasy and compare their lines to the sports books. So here, for example, if you wanted to play on Miles Sanders, you wouldn't want to take him in a three pick entry at minus 137 implied odds on the under because you can get minus 135 on DraftKings and Caesars. But hey, maybe you do want to take him in a three pick or a five pick entry at minus 122 on the under. But all I can tell you is you definitely don't wanna take him on the over. Why would you bet him over one and a half receptions at minus 122 implied odds when you can get plus 119 on the sports books, right? You can get plus money on the sports books. You should never play something on underdog fantasy that you can get plus money on the sports books. So, you know, same thing kind of for anything you wanna bet. Just ruthlessly compare the lines on underdog and prize picks to those on the sports books. 
So next, um, so we've already gone through two props. We have an under. We have an under in Thursday night football. Then I ended up taking Michael Porter over two and a half threes. So here you can see, we'll let it pull up very briefly, but it's the same thing. All the sports books have is over heavily juiced. Over is a lot more likely to occur. We're getting great value at minus 122. Then there's a few more picks you can select from. They're all slightly lower profit margin, so maybe you wanna replace one with another one. You know, it won't change your EV percentage around too much, but I ended up locking in these five picks. OJ Howard under one and a half receptions, Michael Porter, over two and a half made threes, Franz Wagner, under four and a half assists, right? Just following the math, following the numbers, following the value. That's how you do it as a sharp better. Don't overcomplicate it. Hunt for value, find value. So five pick entry, betting 125 to win 2.5K to 20X my money. Let's make money.